South Korea's recently launched KF-21 fighter jet prototype exhibits some low observable features, but it has been classified as a 4.5 generation fighter jet due to lack of internal weapons carriage and absence of advanced radar observing materials. Korea will also develop a more advanced Block 2 version with internal weapons carriage, and it can be classified as 5th generation fighter. India's twin-engine deck-based fighter has recently started wind tunnel testing, and it will not feature internal weapons carriage, and will borrow avionics mission computer's cockpit display system from the Tejas Mark II program, but the advanced TED BF Block II variants could incorporate the required key elements of fifth-generation fighters, as the TED BF design has enough space between its undercarriage section to include an internal weapons carriage. The 5.5 generation AMCA will get a metallic coating of indium tin oxide to its canopy to reflect the radar waves, and the Aeronautical Development Agency has confirmed that same coating can also be introduced to the TED BF program. India will have all the elements for the stealth aircraft by 2030, and these advancements can be incorporated in the TED BF Block 2 variant. We had reported last week that the Aeronautical Development Agency has issued a tender for the procurement of three units of 20 by 8 multi-touch screen large area display from Indian companies for the Tejas Mark II program, and as per new information, these displays should feature split screen and picture in picture with zooming capabilities, and must not weigh more than 10 kilograms. The winning Indian company has to deliver three units within two months of signing the contract and the first two large area display units will be used on the first two pre-production Tejas Mark II fighters that are currently under production, while the third large area display will be used as a backup unit in the Tejas Mark II fighter jet that will be used for developmental and user trials before it enters production. The program is on track, and the first Tejas Mark II will roll out in August 2022, and will conduct its first flight by August 2023. The Indian Army has equipped its SIG 716 rifles with the Trijicon 3.5x35 advanced combat optical gun sight, that can automatically adjust the brightness based on available light, and it can also be used as a close quarters combat sight. The Trijicon rifle scope is completely waterproof and uses no batteries, and instead it uses tritium, which is a radioactive isotope of hydrogen that has a half-life of 12 years. The Army has also equipped the SIG-716 with the indigenous Arjun Next Generation Lightweight Thermal Imaging Scope of Tunbo Imaging, that can be used for long-range target designation during day and night, and can also be used as a handheld device. The SIG-716 has also been equipped with Mepro Mini Hunter Night Sight with 2x magnification, and a single AA battery provides up to 40 hours of continuous operation. After allocating 70,000 crore rupees of the capital budget for domestic procurements, the Defence Ministry has now taken a landmark decision to allocate part of its defence budget for direct procurement from private defence industry. During the year 2021-2022, 15% of capital procurement budget will be procured from the private defence industry. In his address to top commanders during the Air Force Commanders Conference in New Delhi, the Indian Air Force Chief has urged the officials to incorporate cutting-edge technologies like artificial intelligence and 5G technology into the strategies and procedures of the Air Force. India-China standoff along the Ladakh border was also discussed, and the Air Force will now adopt a scalable contingency response model, and will also prepare a roadmap for effective utilization of assets, future inductions, and innovative and low-cost solutions for enhancing training effectiveness. The Special Forces of India and Kyrgyzstan have begun the 8th edition of Special Forces exercise in Kyrgyzstan, and this two-week military exercise will focus on CT operations and high-altitude operations, and will lead to exchange of experience information and best practices between the two Special Forces. 
ISRO Chairman Dr. Keshavan has said that the Indian Space Agency will launch the GSAT-1 Advanced Earth Observation Satellite on 15th May, and this 2,268 kg satellite will provide real-time imaging of the large area region of interest like border regions. The space agencies of India and France have also signed an agreement for cooperation in the Gaganyaan human space mission, that will enable Indian flight physicians to train at French facilities, and France will also deliver some equipment that is currently operating on the International Space Station, as well as fireproof carry bags to shield equipment from shocks and radiation.